Here are your latest headlines and updated Kansas City forecast from KSHB 41 News. I'm Caitlin Knute with KSHB 41 News. Here are your headlines this Monday. President Joe Biden laid out what his administration is doing to combat the Omicron variant today. Today, the travel ban went into effect for seven African countries because of this newest variant. The president said it is a cause for concern, but not yet a cause for panic. He is encouraging all Americans to get vaccinated against COVID-19 as soon as possible. Dr. Anthony Fauci told the president it will take about two more weeks to have more definitive information on the transmissibility, severity, and other characteristics of the Omicron variant. A U.S. District Court has suspended enforcement of a vaccine mandate for health care workers following a lawsuit from Missouri Attorney General. The court issued a preliminary injunction that will apply to all the states that joined Missouri's coalition against the mandate. There are 10 states which this would apply to, including Missouri and Kansas. The federal mandate would have applied to most health care centers that received Medicare or Medicaid funding. Six Kansas House Democratic women are now calling for a Kansas state representative to be expelled from the state house. Over the weekend, troopers arrested 21-year-old Aaron Coleman for suspected drunk driving. Jail records show he has a court appearance that's set for December 28th. The Democratic representative was also charged earlier this month with domestic battery in Johnson County. The six representatives calling for his expulsion say Coleman has a long-standing pattern of physically and emotionally abusive harassment, violence, bullying, and stalking, which they say puts state employees, legislators, and capital visitors at risk. Now here's a look at the forecast with Jeff Penner. Thanks, Caitlin. 55 on Tuesday after a high near 70 on Monday, 65 on the 1st of December, 72 may be a record on the 2nd of December. The rest of the 10-day forecast looking pretty good. Changes over the weekend into next week. No big cold air seen at this time. Thank you